Hello from Egan, Minnesota, Rhino Tech's Manufacturing Distribution Center. I'm Greg. I'm Chris. And here we are again. Uh, we want to bring a, a quick little video to you on Single Jet, which is a paper design specifically for doing light color garments. Um, whites, very light gray, that kind of thing. Yeah, and it also depends on the color you're doing because if you're just doing a black design, you're going to be able to get away with that on to a little bit darker uh, uh, fabrics because it, because it's black, the garment color isn't going to migrate through your print color. Now, if you're going to try to get a bright yellow or a bright mm -hmm. orange, bright red, so on and so forth, it's going to end up dulling out. So you're not going to be able to get those nice bright colors. Right. But so you're going to have to, you know. Uh, Make a judgment on your own whether you know the color is going to be dark enough to uh, be able to put onto that color of garment or do some testing. Yeah, you know, and if you're just starting out with this particular product, we do have a five pack, um, mm -hmm. which is for your testing purposes. You know, you don't have to buy a fifty pack, you don't have to buy a hundred pack. We'd love you to buy a thousand pack, but we have a five pack, very inexpensive, and that's the way to start. Yes. You know, and the other part is is that Chris handles all the technical side, so. If, if you do two of them and for whatever reason it's not working for you, stop. Don't waste any more paper. Give us a call. Yeah, Send please, us an email. Please call me because it's the worst thing when you have one piece of paper left and we can't even try a test or two because you only have one left. So, right, so if it doesn't go correctly on the first or second one, give me a call. Okay, but it will. It it's will. this simple. <laughs> the inkjet right. is simple. Right. So, we... Uh, so we more or less just, uh, uh, when we're printing with on an inkjet paper, you're just going to use a plain paper mode. If you find maybe your design isn't coming out as dark as you'd like it to be on the paper, maybe you're going to just darken up your image a little bit so that it prints a little darker, but you don't want to oversaturate it because then when you press it to the garment, it will end up bleeding out in the wash. So you do want to use a plain paper mode when you're printing. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, the other thing is to keep in mind our logo is actually this way so that you want to make sure when you're doing your print you do print it in a mirror image so that as you rotate it'll be in the right reading. Because uh, when you okay. print it here you're going to end up pressing it upside down on the garment so then when it releases to the garment that it's right reading. Right. So um, we printed out the design on our 8.5 by 11. It's also available in 1117. Um, and single jet is also available in a 13 inch roll. Yeah, roll. exactly, right. by I think 50 yards. Yeah, so, so um, you can also, you know, a lot of these ban these inkjet printers will have a banner mode, so you could actually do something much, much longer. Of course, you might have a little trouble when you don't have a... Yeah, you got to remember your heat press. If your heat press isn't big enough, you're not going to be able to press it, even if you do it, you know, 24 inches long, but you only have a 20 inch heat press. Right, so um, we took took one of these, and simply with the scissors, just cut around it. You'll see that there is some white there, um, but as soon as that gets transferred down onto a white shirt, that virtually disappears. Yes. And it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And even if you wash it, then it's gone. Yeah. The design isn't gone, just you don't see that edge at all. Yeah. So. Yeah, the coating tends to fade away a little bit in the wash. I mean, the coating will always be there, but your cut lines will tend to fade out to the point where you really don't mm -hmm. see them. Mm -hmm. But you have to look really hard to see them even if it hasn't been washed. Mm -hmm. So, we have, I'll trade right. with you. Okay, so we'll get the heat press ready. Uh, this uh, paper is gonna be 350 degrees with a medium pressure for 16 seconds. Happen to be using a Gil Dan shirt. We use a variety of different ones, um, you know, for our in-house stuff. I'm gonna pre-press this just to get rid of some of the wrinkles. That also takes some of the moisture out of the shirt, which is always a good idea. Correct. Yeah. See, this is, he's done this so many times, he doesn't even have to take a rule of measure. Yeah, no, once you get going on it, it's kind of just cut and dry. You end up putting it on there, you kind of know where it is every time. Mm -hmm. So again, this is 350, 16 seconds, and then we're going to do a hot peel. Correct. going to grab it in one of the corners and then you want to make roll it back as he's doing. You don't want to be going like this when you're peeling it off. Correct, yeah, because then you might, uh, some of the ink might actually come off on the paper instead of staying on the shirt. Okay, so we have our image 
And um, we always recommend, though, that you go back one more time and give it about a 10 second press, just to make sure that we've thoroughly embedded it into the fibers of the shirt. Right? Correct. Let's do it. All right. Okay. A little parchment on there. By the way, anytime you order from us, you're going to get paper plus some parchment paper. Correct. So. Correct. And then also remember when you're placing the shirt on there, do your best to try to keep the seams off the bed because then that will affect your pressure of your press if oh, yeah. you have the seams of the shirt on there. So if you're working with a onesie or a smaller shirt, you know, obviously you can't, um, you know, be able to have it hanging off the bed. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're going to need to add a little bit more pressure to press down into it because you have those seams. But oh, yeah. If you can avoid it, make sure the seams are off the yeah. press. That's a tip. Remember that one. Mm -hmm. And I don't charge for those extra tips, so just call me. <laughs> I mean, that's it. That's it. And that is our logo with multiple shades. Oh, so black and gray. Any ink chip printer will work with this, right? Correct, yeah. Anything that has a, a pigment-based or dye-based ink will work, which is come standard with all the printers you buy from the big box stores. Okay, so HP, Epson, Samsung, and you're ready to go. Correct. Even though we like to see, we like the Epsons, it mm -hmm. seems like, right? Yeah. yeah. For the most part. Yeah, for the most part, you know, anything, I find anything that has, you know, a six cartridge system, you're going to get a better color mm -hmm. output. Okay, good. And um, the, other, the other thing about some of the Epsons is that they can come 13 inches wide, so you have a little bit more wide format for the roll of material Correct. that we have, which is uh, 13 inches wide. So mm -hmm. um, I guess that's it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. You know where to find us. Till the next time. Take care.